What's up? What's up? Welcome everybody. Happy Thursday. Happy flying Thursday. Hope everybody's doing well. We're here at Signature. We just arrived at Signature Flight Support here at Provo Municipal Airport. Papa Victor Uniform Airport in Provo, Utah. Tonight for TPC Flying Thursday, we're going to be flying into Colorado Springs, Colorado. Uh, Charlie Oscar Sierra Airport. Airplane should be pulled out first. Tonight we're going to be flying the Honda jet. It's been a while since we've been in the in the H jet. Airplane should be pulled out already. And uh, we'll just have to go get her set up and brief this baby and get going. Let's go in the FBO. See the airplane out there already? November 515, Sierra November. Before we go out there, I'm gonna grab some snacks. Load up on some snacks here. And then maybe we'll brief it up here in the FBO before we go out there. Let's go sit over here. Here's what the route looks like on the map. We'll be starting off over here on the uh, left side, Providence PVU, and we're going to be heading into Colorado Springs. Our route today, you can see it at the top of the iPad there. We're going to be on the Provo 4 departure, FFU transition, then direct Bohm, then direct Dolly, then direct Hotel Bravo Uniform, and then we're going to be on the Dubrai 5 arrival into Colorado Springs. Weather's looking beautiful again. Here at Provo, we've got winds 270 at 3, 10 statue miles, clear skies, temp 20, dew point 07, altimeter 3024. Down there at Colorado Springs, winds are variable at 3 knots, 10 statue miles, clear skies, temp 24, altimeter minus, sorry, <laughs> temp 24, dew point minus 2, altimeter 3024. Beautiful weather. Let's take a look at our charts for today. Here's Provo Municipal. We've got two intersecting runways. We've got 3618, which is 6,600 feet long. And then we've got runway 3113, 8,603 feet long. And Stein, thanks for the resub, man. I appreciate you, Mike. What's going on, brother? Hope your day is going well. Thanks for the TPC special delivery. You got it, man. I saw your message. <laughs> oh, man. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. So runway 3113, we've got 8,603 feet of runway. Um, Windsor 270 out of the west, so we're going to be using runway 31 for departure. And our taxi is going to be uh, out of signature Alpha, Alpha 5 to runway 31. Then we're going to be on the Provo 4 departure. Um... I'll let you guys glance over all of the uh, takeoff takeoff obstacle notes. Takeoff minimums for runway three one. We had need we need at least uh, looks like three three eighty per nautical mile to nine thousand. Honda Jet can do that easily, no problem. So for runway three one, you look at the bottom here, the chart. We're gonna climb climb to nine thousand via PVU radio three eleven to Pammy. Then left turn direct to FFU, VOR, and hold. From FFU, VOR expects clearance to file the route and altitude within 10 minutes after departure. So real simple. It's basically runway heading out to PAMI. After PAMI, left turn to Fairfield. And uh, if you have to hold over Fairfield, over, over Fairfield to climb, we can do it. I think we're not going to have any issue with that. After FFU, we'll just go direct to our initial waypoint. Um, 
to Bohm, and then the rest of our filed route. Then our arrival into Colorado Springs will be on the D Berry 5. Coming from Blue Mesa, up at the top over here on the left. After Blue Mesa, it's to Flood. After Flood, to Fisher. Fisher. Got a speed restriction of 250 knots. Then from Fisher, we're on BRK radial 173 to BRK. Expect radar vectors to final approach course at or before BRK. Black Forest. Pretty simple. And over there at Colorado Springs, we've got three runways. We've got the two parallels, 3-5 left, 1-7 right, 3-5 right, 1-7 left. And then we have the diagonal runway, 3-1-1-3. Winds are available at three, so I don't know which runways they're using at the moment over there at Colorado Springs. Um, for now, we'll just expect the three fives. We'll try to get three five left, so we don't have to go through such a long taxi to get to uh, get the parking. So hopefully, three five left will be off by Alpha three or Alpha two, and then straight into the ramp here on the west end of the airport. It. Let's go out there and get the airplane ready. Another beautiful day for flying. Our airplane's already fueled up. Let's get some, uh, I guess we'll do our walk around first and then we'll, we'll set up the rest of the airplane. So let's do that. Madhu, what's going up? What's going on, Chris? How you doing, brother? You flying tonight? By the way, total flight time today should be about an hour and 19 minutes into Colorado Springs. Forgot to mention that during the brief. One hour, 20 minutes. We're going up to flight level 410. Airplane looks good. Start getting this bad boy set up. All right, for idle cutoff, flaps are up, speed brakes are down, gear levers down. All of our switches look good. Battery. And, um... I'm trying to think if we should use the GPU or not. I guess we'll do a battery start. In that case, let's get the passengers on board now and close up.
Packs on board. And let's just get our main door closed. I don't like how in the Honda Jet you have to do all this through the GTC. It's kind of weird. I wish I could close the door manually by actually closing the door instead of coming back over here. It kind of breaks the immersion, but whatever. Main door close. We're good. And we'll start with our... Actually, let's go ahead and get this... Uh, get one of the engines started so we get power to the airplane. Pull up our checklist. Four starting engines. Batteries on. Oxygen is on. Pressurization's norm. Electrical ELT. A test our ELT. That's good. Those will steering's norm. The landing gear is down. Alternate gear release is stowed. Parking brake is set. Flaps are up. Thrust levers are cut off. Speed brakes down. Ice protection. Fuel panel, trim panel, windshield heat, pneumatic panel, glared shield, chime. That's all this stuff down here. Everything's on normal except engine, engine anti-ice stays off. That looks good. Avionics initialization. We'll do that once we get one of these engines started. Starting engines, passenger briefing complete, rudder pedals are adjusted, seats and seat belts, stores, parking brakes on, cast messages look fine. Electrical volts, we've got 29. And engine start, start right side, or clear right. A good start. Cabin power can come on. Oh, I guess you need need them both on for cabin power. It's been a while since I've been in the Honda Jet. We'll go ahead and start both. We're right. Good start. Cabin power. Rest for switches. Good. Engine instruments are checked. Engine anti-ice is not required. External power is disconnected. Flight controls. Flight controls are free and correct. Number four taxi stuff. All right, FMS. Let's go ahead and get this set up. Our routing. Let me see, do we have ATC here at Provo at the moment? Nope, no ATC. We'll just go, we'll just do it as we filed. Um, I'm gonna use the sim brief integration. PVU to KCOS request, import.
All right, departure looks good. Runway 31, Provo 4. FFU, all that looks good. And we've got the D-Berry 5 loaded in as well. That looks good. All right, looks perfect. Next, before we go any further. Initialization. Start with our system tests. This is kind of like our in cockpit uh, pre flight. It's all automatic. All right, fire detection. We've got one, two, three lights for the left. Right side, one, two, three lights on the right. Next is our stall protection. Then enunciators, everything lights up. That's it. Weight and fuel. Um, let's see. I hit sync all from sim. That looks right. Cargo should be 190. Our speed bugs. V1, 110, rotate at 115, V2, 120. If we have to come back to uh, Provo, approach speed 122, ref is 117. Okay, I think we're all set up. Let's put in a fake squat code here. 2000, we'll go to 122.8. CTAF. 120. Oh, what's going on there? 122.8. Transfer. I don't know why it keeps switching out. That's weird. This is going to be a problem if I can't get our radio working. Um, how about COM2? COM2 appears to be working. Let's try one one more time. 122.8. Oh, why it switches to 19.4? I have a strange feeling it has something to do with V-Pilot. But maybe not. All right, you know what, then? We'll just go with COM2. 122.8's in there. All right, other than that, I think we're ready to go. Let's go through checklists. Before taxi, wing anti-ice as required. It's not required. Transponder codes entered. Flight IDs confirmed. Flight plan is entered. Navigation source is set to FMS. Altimeters. Three zero two four. Set. Flaps. Down to fifteen for takeoff. And indicating. Speed brake, check. There's the message. And they're up both sides, back down. Cabin signs as required and parking brake.
Taxi checklist brakes, nose wheel steering, flight instruments. We'll do all that on our way out. And our before takeoff stuff. Weather is beautiful in, Pro, uh, in Provo, Michael. Thanks for the meat tar, looks good. Yeah, beautiful weather today. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen that with uh, MSFS ATC enabled. Let me check. Where would that be? Um... I haven't changed anything, so if it did change, it changes on its own. Don T, what's up, Don? As for where it is, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. I can't move this. All right, we'll work with it. Um, It's been a while since we've been in the Honda Jet, so I don't know if it could be that. Maybe it's since it's the first time I've loaded it since the last update. Maybe it, something got borked. All right, either way, we're ready. We're going to taxi out Alpha, Alpha 5, to runway 31. We've got no ATC on. We're on 122.8. Come on the brakes. Parking brake released. We're all clear. Clear right, clear left. Provo traffic, Honda Jet 515, Sierra November is taxiing out of signature to runway 31 via Alpha, Alpha 5, Provo traffic. Sim seems more stuttery, stuttery than usual. Hopefully we make it through this one. All right, nose wheel steering seems to be fine. Let's do a brake check. Brakes feel good. For takeoff, flaps set for takeoff trims. Trims are set for takeoff. Speed brakes retracted. Cast messages are clear. Navigation set, flight guidance set. Takeoff and landing data is confirmed. Takeoff briefing is complete. Uh, radar, nice protection. We're ready. Don, just getting out of work.
Provo Municipal Traffic, Honda Jet 515, Sierra November is taking off runway 31 straight out. Provo traffic. All right, if we look straight out, I see nobody on final. Runway 31. We're clear down the runway. If anything happens below V1, we'll stop on the runway. Anything above V1, 115, we'll take in the air and bring back to uh, Provo if we have any issues. Rotate at 115, flaps up at 150, climb at 210. 3 1, I see it. Here we go. Takeoff power set. And achieve two good engines. Airspeed's alive. Rotate. Positive rate brakes. You're up. Lots of stutters. Got to be the Honda Jet. Speed checks flaps up. Throttles NCT. With heading level change AP. Direct pay me, activate, and then a nav. Oh, why are we leveled? Autopilot. All right, taking over. Oh, that's why. Never set nine or thousand up here. We'll just continue up. We'll go all the way up to 410. Right over Pammy, left turn now to FFU. Through 10k after takeoff, climb checklist, landing gears up, out amps on, flaps are up, bus levers are MCT, flight guidance as required, ice not needed, pass signs are coming off. Climb checklist, pressurization is checked, altimeters checked.
Alright, I might have figured this thing out. Or, no, maybe not. Well, COM1 is working again. I don't know what I changed. I just changed the, uh... Our transponder mode was on something manual. It should be on auto in the uh, H-Jet. For whatever reason, it was on manual. I just switched the transponder mode to auto, and now I have my COM1 radio back. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it, or if that has something to do with the way the sim is communicating with V-Pilot. I really don't know. We're through flight level 180. Altimeter is the standard. 9292 and 92. ICAST looks good. Pressurization looks good. Missing the briefing, TPC brief. No fold out tables in the Honda Jet. We got a potty in the back. Kind of cool.
<laughs> Emstein. I think he has mic. His computer is like a potato. I know he's uh, talking through a, a really, really old laptop. Might be why he sounds kind of weird. Funny. Show our little airplane on the map, on the charts. Sync POF, is that it? I'm scared to push it. all these waypoints that's why we're not showing on the map I'm an idiot never mind I guess we could pull up uh, our arrival into Colorado Springs D berry 5 arrival Oh, is that, oh, that kid. <laughs> gotcha, Einstein. Yeah, is he okay? He's passed out. He gets upset when daddy takes him on business trips. What else can we play with? Forgot to switch over our speed in the uh, Honda Jet. 
climb 210 on the speed until you get to Mach 5-1 and then you switch over to Mach mode. I never switched over, so we're at 6-1 right now. Um, how do you do that? I forget where. Here we go, I gotta push this. Should be climbing at 5-1 or 5-2. So quiet without any ATC. Still no Salt Lake City Center, and then we're about to cross over into Denver's airspace pretty soon. Denver's not online yet, but we do have Colorado Springs. Looks like a ground delivery. Okay, we've got approach as well. I think. Yeah. Thousand feet to go.
it takes so long to build up the speed. It's so underpowered. Climb check once again, pressurizations check, altimeters are set. Or sorry, cruise, cruise checklist, altimeters, systems. JPC's on JFK today. JFK Tower, I think. Cool. Oh, it's so quiet.
No weather, no ATC. I know, right? Still no Denver Center? Let's see. Nope. Pretty terrain though. Oh, I feel so like little in the up front in the Honda Jet. It's hard to see out these windows. Divert to JFK and <laughs> give JPC a hard time. What's going on over there tonight? Is there an event or anything? Let's see, that's by. Pretty well lit up over there. South flow at Colorado Springs, so we can expect one of the one sevens. I'll be right back guys, I'm gonna go refill my water.
should be landing right around, right at 0100 Zulu, so about 25 minutes should be on the ground at Colorado Springs. By the look of it, it's going to be pretty busy once we're arriving, we're going to be getting in pretty much the same time as everybody else. Put in an altitude here for Black Forest or Fisher so we can build a top of descent. Um, let's see. I think we're going to be at Fisher. Fisher at around nine or a thousand. Did I put that in Black Forest or Fisher? Hold on. Sure. 900,000. All right, cool. So now we have a top of descent built here just after Hotel Bravo uniform. That's when we'll start our descent.
I'm sorry, 100 biddies for the sunset views. I appreciate you, man. <laughs> Colors are beautiful. Look at this. Forget the airplane. Uh, we're getting pretty close to our top of descent. Nine or thousand set. And we can RMB nav. Set checklist, landing field elevation is set. Engine anti-ice, not required. Altimeters, check. Colorado Springs approach is going to be on 124. Nothing. We can start tuning into there and monitoring. 24. September 5th or 7th here, Lima Springs Airport. One o'clock, eight miles. Have the airports on the zoo, Lima? Number 5370, Lima, contact Springs Tower, 119.9er. 19.9er, we'll see you at Springs Tower is going to be on 19.9. Here comes VPath.
I know we're over speeding, but is it gonna slow us down or what? Let's see if we can pick up the ATIS 125.0. Landing and departing runway 17 left and 17. Runway 1331 available upon request. Advise on initial contact. You have information alpha. City of Colorado FTR Airport ATIS information alpha. 2354 Zulu. Went 160 at 7. Visibility 10. Sky clear for 12000. Temperature 22. 2.2. 2. Altimeter 3024. Visual approach is in use. Landing and departing runway 17 left and 17. Runway 1331 available upon request. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Alpha. Alright, we have Alpha. Speed restriction at Fisher, it's max 250 knots. I have our FMS program so that we cross Fisher at 9 or 1000, so we're going to be at 250 anyway, so. Plaza 2345, radar contact 35 miles south of Colorado Springs Airport, it's the altimeter 3024. Thanks for Alpha, expect the ILS, or correction, expect a visual approach only 17 left, it's going to maintain 11000. Look, back to visual 17 left, it's going to maintain 11000, Pilot left 2345, I changed my mind, expect a visual approach from my 17 right. 17 right, pilot 2345. Uh, you parking over at the jet center. Why did I get rid of the rest of the star? Five left 2345, turn right heading 010, it's a vector visual approach, runway 17 right. Heading 010, pilot 2345. Blood, Fisher, where's the rest of this stuff? After, um. Uh... After blood. and then Black Forest. Why is that not coming up here? There we go. Put 900,000 back here, Fisher. Uh, 
Speed. Hello, Spring. Scapula Radio One with Alpha. Uh, we're crossing Hugo now. Expecting uh, Dane at one four thousand. Uh, Scapula Radio One, uh, Spring to Approach. Roger, you're uh, just outside my radar range. Uh, I'll call you when uh, we, you get a little bit closer here. Ah, uh, come on. You're not even on my scope yet. Actually, you know what? Literally, as I just said, that you popped up. Scapula Radio One, squawk one five zero three, I den. Uh, Pogen Tower online? Yes, sir. 3 times 9,000. 3 times 9,000. 5 times 1503 with a flash. Sky Blue 1. Sky Blue 1. Radar contact 45 miles east of the Black Forest VOR. The Springfield temperature 3024. Information Alpha is current. Expect a visual approach from a 17 left. Okay, visual for 17 left. Sky Blue 1. I do radio one to cross Ozzy at one four fourteen thousand. One four fourteen thousand for Sky Blue One. And that'll be at Ozzy. Right, I'm sorry about that. Ozzy one four thousand Sky Blue One. Where's the weather? I was looking for just some snow or something. Give it a couple more weeks. The up is going to be 113 knots, rough 108. And we're going to get the visual approach for 17 right or 17 left. So that's our approach brief. Check seats and signs, passenger briefing, cabin signs. We won't get those on until we're below 10. Avionics set, landing data is set, confirmed. Cast messages are clear. Approach briefing, we just did that. Turn left, heading 260. 260, pocket 2045. Field is about 50 knots, uh, sorry, 50 nautical miles at our 10 o'clock. It's just behind these mountains over here where the city lights are. Field's right back here somewhere. Uh, 
All right, through flight level 180. Colorado Springs ATIS, or I'm sorry, altimeter 3024. Pilot Club 2345, Springs Airport, 10 o'clock, 10 miles, report in sight. In sight, pocket 3045. Pilot Club 2345, clear visual approach, runway 17 right, contact Springs Tower, 119.9 Clear visual 17 right, Tower, 119.9 pocket 3045. Scott Blue 1, turn right heading 290, descend and maintain 9000, vector visual approach, runway 17 left. Okay, 290 on the heading and set the altitude again, please. Yeah, descend and maintain 9000. 290 on 9000, sky blue one. Start slowing to 250. One track at 12 o'clock, uh, one zero miles eastbound. Uh, altitude indicates one three thousand. Altitude unverified type unknown. Okay, we're looking for him. Sky blue one. All right, I'm gonna call him here in a minute. We'll call him when we're over Fisher. Yeah, sky blue one has the traffic. Sky blue one, Roger. As soon as we start the left yeah, turn, I'll call. Pilot Club 341, VFL request. Pilot Club 341, Springs Bridge. Yeah, Pilot Club 341, flight at 2 TBMs. Uh, we're about uh, 900 miles northeast of the Black Forest uh, VOR. Uh, 1 2000, ascending at 9 5000. Uh, request full stop, uh, Colorado Springs information alpha. Pilot Club 341, Springs Bridge, Rock 5177, identity. Good job, check in, good job, check in. And 5177 and a Pelican 341 flight. That was a great check in. All right, stereo cockpit. Do my best. Cabin signs are coming on. Pelican 341, ready to contact. One next six miles northeast of the Black Forest VOR. The Springs Altimeter 3024. Uh, flight eastbound for me. Uh, traffic's going to be, let's call it, two moving three o'clock, four miles northeast. Record question northwest bound to 737, descending at a 11,500. Yeah, traffic in sight, uh, Pilot 341 flight. Uh, Pilot 341 flight, Roger, maintain visual separation from that traffic, and uh, once you're clear, you can proceed direct uh, the airport. Yeah, maintain visual separation once clear, direct the airport, Pilot uh, 341 flight. I show that traffic behind you, new factor. Proceed direct Springs Airport. Oh, proceed direct Springs Airport, uh, pilot of 3 at 41 flight. And by that 341 flight, if you can expect to enter a left base runway 1 at 7 right. Yeah, 341 flight. Colorado Springs approach. Good evening. November 5150 November is a Honda jet over Fisher on the D-Berry 5 arrival. Niner thousand information alpha. November 5150 November. Springs approach. Walk 4101 ident. 4101 ident. 50 November. 4101. 
Left turn zero one zero, maintain nine or thousand, and we'll expect the visual one seven right, best forward speed, Honda Jet five zero November. And uh Honda Jet five zero November, when you get to best forward speed, let me know what that is, please. Okay, we're at it now, two fifty. Roger. <clears throat> All right, nine or thousand zero one zero on the heading. And on the rollout, Springs Airport, two, air correction, ten o'clock, one five miles. Okay, two six zero, and we're looking. Sky blue one. Springs approach. Good evening, uh, south, southwest five thirty eight one five thousand with Bravo. Southwest five thirty eight Springs approach. Walk three four one five. I then. Three four one five. Southwest five thirty eight. All right, visual one seven right. Approach. Two tango mic out of one eight thousand. Blocked. Sky blue one out the field. Sky Blue 1, clear visual approach, runway 17 left. Seats and signs, passenger hey, briefing, cabin signs, avionics, landing data, CAS, approach brief, flaps. Aircraft calling an answer, say again. Citation 2, taking a mic out of flight, hold 180 with you. Uh, Roger, where are you? Stand by 1. Oh, man. 9 miles to the south of the Alpha Pop Alpha Airport, you think a mic? Sky Blue 1, contact Springs Tower, 119.9er. 119.9er, 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 119.9er
Pepper Chief Inca Mike, uh, maintain 11,000, reaching 11,000, maintain 170 knots. Maintain 11,000, upon reaching 11,000, maintain 170 knots, you think, Mike? All right, after we land 17 right, it's going to be a right turn off the runway, right turn either Alpha 2 or Alpha 3, and then straight into GA parking. For now, two things, Mike. I'm um, actually I do have Lucy. I imported it from the R now. Better. Either way, uh, for now, just by uh, heading one seven zero, please. All right, one seven zero. Two things, Mike. Maintain one zero thousand. Two day, Mike. Southwest five thirty eight. Turn left. Heading three five zero. Plus three five zero. Southwest five thirty eight. Turn two six zero on a jet five zero November. Southwest five thirty eight maintain two one zero knots. Two one zero knots, Southwest five thirty eight. Hundred five zero November, resume normal speed. Normal speed, Honda Jet five zero November. And uh Honda Jet five zero November, actually let's do this. Maintain one zero correction two one zero knots for now. Speed two ten, Honda Jet five zero November. Southwest 538, traffic 1 o'clock, 10 one miles opposite direction, I longitude level 10,000, they're restricted above you. Alright, heading 260, uh, slowing to 210 knots. 1 o'clock, 10 uh, miles opposite direction, north of the field in sight. Level at nine eight Number 2 thing, Mike, traffic in sight and field in sight. Roger. Where's the approach, 5 plus 686 is with Bravo, flight level 190, and we're about to 200 miles to the west of Boulder, reporting. Uh, pilot Club 686, Roger, stand by. Uh, 
uh, November 515 Sierra, November Springs Airport, 10 o'clock, 15 miles, report in sight. Field in sight, Honda Jet 5 Sierra, November. Honda Jet 5 Sierra, November, turn left heading 200, join the final, clear for the approach, runway 17 right. Left turn 200, join the final, clear for the visual 17 right, Honda Jet 5 Sierra, November. Southwest 538, turn left heading 260. Left 260, Southwest 538. Two tango mic, turn right heading 280. Right 280, two tango mic. And uh, November, two tango mic, descend to maintain 9000. Descend 9000, two tango mic. All right, AT is disengaged. I have the throttles looking good. I'm going to take over the Auto airplane pilot. as well. My airplane. We've been clear for the visual 17 right. Pilot Club 686, you're just outside my radar coverage. Uh, give me a call back in about five miles. I'll call you back in five miles. Or All right, flaps 15. November 515, Sierra November, contact Springs Tower, 119er point niner. Over to Tower, 19.9, Honda Jet 5, Sierra November, good night. And ground's gonna be on ground point seven. One, two, one, seven. Springs Tower, good evening, Honda Jet 515, Sierra November, visual 17 right. Honda Jet 515, Sierra November, Springs Tower, wind 1405, runway 17 right, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 17 right, Honda Jet 5, Sierra November. One, two, two three, thousand. green. Flaps full. Four landing checklist. Gears down, three green. Speed trip brakes are retracted. Flaps are set. Airspeed. Autopilot. Yaw damp. Is away. We've been clear to land. One, seven, right. Uh, Springs Tower, Southwest 538 on visual 1700 left. Southwest 538, Springs Tower, good evening, wind 1405, runway 17 left, clear to land. To the land, 17 left, Southwest 538. 300. Last gear check, we're down in 3 green, we've been cleared to land. Springs Tower Citation 2 Tango Mike is on the visual 17 right. 50. Citation 2 Tango Mike, Springs Tower, 20, wind 1405, runway 17 right, clear to land. 
five. One to the right, clear lane, two take a mic. Speed brakes. Papa Jet, uh, 5 Sierra November, right turn when able, contact ground point 7, off the turn, Mike, good day. Right turn, ground point 7, Honda Jet 5, Sierra November, good day. Nice, we're right in front of the jet center. Right here on our right. We're all the way across. Clean her up, flaps, speed brakes. Um, what else? After landing, Cabin signs, we'll keep on until we get to the ramp. Ice is off, speed brakes down, flaps are off, uh, flaps are up, and trims are reset. Ground point seven. Murray Alpha three. Springs ground, good evening. Honda Jet 515, Sierra November is clear of 17 right at Alpha three, going to the jet center. Honda Jet 515, Sierra November, Springs ground, welcome. Taxi straight ahead into the ramp. Straight ahead into the ramp, Honda Jet 5, Sierra November, good night. Good night. Well, welcome to Colorado Springs. Good evening, Southwest 538, taxi to uh, 8 Southwest 538, Springs Ground, welcome. Taxi via Echo, Hotel, Mike. Clear right, clear left. Echo Hotel, Mike. Uh, or clear left, clear right. Thanks. Smitty, what's up, Smitty? Awesome, man. All right, parking brake. Shut down, parking brake, wheel chocks, anti-ice, external power, thrust levers, cabin signs, oxygen, parking brake, battery. Shut down. Citation 2 Tango Mike on Alpha 3 going to parking. Citation 2 Tango Mike Springs Ground is welcome. Taxi straight ahead. Straight ahead into the ramp 2 Tango Mike, thanks. You betcha. Battery.
There we go. Let me see uh, if there's anybody else coming in at the moment. Maybe we can watch a couple landings before we go. Yeah, there's a lot of people coming in. All right, let's set up. Let's watch a couple landings, and uh, then we'll call it. Hey, uh, Hyro FTW for the win. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the ATC, man. Appreciate it. You know what? Let's get our let's get our radio so that we can listen to ATC. We watch these guys. We'll get the GPU. External power. Let's go back over to tower. Sit in. set up in the middle here but between the parallels and as they land we'll just move from left to right try to switch it the day so we can see do it back on hold on Tower, good evening, uh, Pilatus 154, Romeo, or oh, final 17 right. Pilatus 154, one seven right. Romeo, Springs Tower, good evening, wind 1405, runway 17 right, clear to land. Clear to land 17 right, Pilatus 4, Echo Romeo. Bit closer.
Smitty says Sunday the 29th will be a fun event if you can make it to Virtual USA Flying Club. I'll do my best, Smitty. Plan to be there this Sunday for the uh, Make Sweat uh, Make Mike Sweat event. But I'll mark my calendar for the 29th as well. Sunday night, I should be able to make that, no problem. Ooh, seaplanes. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I'm going to have to get some practice in. Alright, 154 Echo Romeo should be in short final now, 17 or 8. Should be coming into view any moment now. Watch uh, Four Echo Romeo land, and after that, we've got American 2347, then TPC 686. Then I might call it after that. Where is this Pilatus? Still connected to that tip. Just heard radio, so yeah. Airpod, it's uh, Four Echo Romeo. Rolling down to Alpha 3, and then. What the, the hell? Ground, uh, point seven, <laughs> missed him. Over the ground, point seven on Alpha 3, pilot is 1 of 5 Echo Romeo, good night. Bro, where? Am I at the right? I'm at the wrong runway. Hold on. <laughs> I think I'm at the wrong. I think I'm on the diagonal. American 2347 Springs Tower. Oh, no wonder. Zero at five. Runway 17 left. Clear to land. Wow. My bad, guys. That was my fault. There he is. Watching the wrong runway. This is where we should have been. All right, next we've got American 2347 on about a three mile final. That's number two. American 2347 should be number one, unless I missed him too. Be on the left side, maybe? He was on the left side. Wow, I'm doing terrible at this today. Oh for two. American 
American 2347, exit the next uh, high speed to the right, contact Ground Point 7, good night. 17 left is Hyro. I missed them. <laughs> We'll watch the next few then, since I missed the first two. We've got TPC 686 coming in, then Sky Blue Radio 1077, and then TPC 117. We'll watch the next three. Seventeen right next. Showing up as a vision jet. I know he's not in a vision jet. C550. Close enough, I guess. Spring Tower, Sky Blue 1077 is uh, seven and a half. One dozen left. Sky Blue Radio 1077, Springs Tower, good evening. Wind 1405, runway 17 left. Copy the wind, clear to land. Sky Blue 1077, here we go. Sky Blue Radio 1077, confirm runway 17 left, clear to land. Correction, 17 left, clear to land. Sky Blue 1077. All right, let's jump over to the other side. Powercraft 686, uh, right on Alpha 3, contact ground point 7. Can I? Run on Alpha 3, ground point 7, Pipe Club 686 DL. Yeah. Sky Blue Radio. I wish I could listen to Sky Blue Radio on stream. Twitch won't let me. See a greaser, JT. Cody, yo yo, what's going on, man? How you been, my brother? stable on the approach. Looks like he's locked in. Oh, spoke too soon. That looks like a good one. Vat Sim's gonna Vat Sim. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. That was a good one. Okay, we're ready at 1077. Uh, <laughs> exit right at next high speed and contact ground point seven. Can I? Skyblue 1077, contact ground on the hot seat. Springs Tower, pilot level 17 is on visual, final, on visual for pilot for runway 17 right. This will be our last one. Power Club 117, Springs Tower, good evening, wind 1405, runway 17 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 17 right. Pilot Club 117 on the right side. Just say 
That's a good landing as the whole half the runway to stop, says Hyro. <laughs> Why do I get so lost here at this airport? Where did you go? Oh, I missed them. Did I miss them? They looked further away on Vat Spy. <laughs> the moment you realize your brakes are set too low. Done that many times. Alright guys, let's go secure the airplane. Pilot Club 170, we'll right on Alpha 5, contact ground point 7, can I? Right on Alpha 5, contact ground, Pilot Club 117, thank you. I think that's it. We'll leave our door open. Oh, we'll put up, uh, I guess we'll put up statics, cabin shades. There we go. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me on that flight. Kind of a quiet one, but still nice. Iro, I appreciate the ATC, man. And thanks for the Twitch uh, follow. Have a good night, my brother. Cody, have a good one, man. I'll let me catch up. Been good. How about you? Doing all right, man. Doing all right. Thank you guys for flying with me. I'll see you guys on... Uh, I'm going to try to fly with Virtual USA on Sunday night is the Make Mike Sweat event. Um, Bravo Delta Romeo is the airport. I can't remember the name of it. But that's what we'll be flying. Something GA. Bonanza or maybe even a 172 or something. That'll be Sunday night, 7 p.m. Eastern. 2300 Zulu. I'll see you guys then. Have a good one. See you.